Fantasy Football Management presents the Rational Classical Model for Individual Decision Making. The first step of the decision making process is identifying that there is a problem or opportunity available. In this instance, head coach Thomas has noticed that one of his stars, Peter, has been slacking off lately. Peter has been consistently late or absent from practice and his lack of effort has affected the team on the field. After having a talk with Peter's peers, he finds out that Peter brags about drinking heavily often. Now the coach knows that he has a problem on his hands. The second step of the process is setting goals and criteria for the decision. Thomas wants the team to be functional. He wants all his players to be on time and give it their all. He cares about each individual player, but he does not have time to get into their personal problems, and he has enough players to be able to lose a few. Then, Thomas generates alternative decisions he could make based on these criteria. He could have a heart-to-heart -heart with Peter. He could send Peter to rehab. He could start drug testing his players. Or he could cut Peter entirely from the team. Next, the coach must evaluate these alternatives. In the past, Thomas has had heart-to-hearts with numerous players and he has never gotten the results he wanted. Therefore, Thomas decides to rule out that option. If Thomas sent Peter to rehab, the local paper would most likely find out and publish it as news. Not only does Coach value the privacy of his players, he also does not need the extra bad publicity for his school and for his team. Thomas consider considers mandatory drug testing for his players, but decides that would be unfair to most players who party hard and still are able to keep it together on the field. The last option is cutting Peter from the team altogether. While this will probably cause a bit of ruckus, the team will ultimately understand and will have the manpower to carry on without Peter on the team. Step 5 of the process is choosing the decision to make. In this case, cutting Peter seems like the most viable option to Thomas, so he chooses to carry out that decision. You're going to want to sit down for this, Pete. You've had a good run on this team. I'm proud of your achievements and I want to thank you for helping us get to the championships last year. Look, you're a good kid and I know you have potential, but you've been getting in your own way. I've told you time and time again that you need to show up to practice and to be on time. You just don't listen. I don't know if it's the drugs and don't try to deny it or something else. But whatever is causing this behavior, it's up to you to address it. Now I can't just rely on your word that you're going to change, so don't try and convince me. You're cut from the team, Peter. If you get yourself together by next year, maybe, just maybe, you'll make tryouts. If not, well, that'll be a shame. The last step of the decision-making process is monitoring the results. Thomas will now take note of how his team reacts to the cut and how it affects their playing. He will also keep a lookout for Peter next year at tryouts to see if his decision cost Peter to move in a better direction. And that's the end. Thank you for watching this episode of Fantasy Football Management. Until next time.